going quickly back on on Bukayo, um, England obviously not playing until next week. You got tomorrow and a game of the weekend. Is he going to be all right for, for the England squad given that gap? Do you think? Or, and are there any concerns on potentially the amount of time he may, you know, maybe the added workload of England given the amount he's played already? First of all. Well, I don't know because there are two games to play for, so obviously if he participates in these two games, uh, it is always a risk. So I don't know. Ask me that question after the game against uh, West Ham. And, and just lastly, looking back to last year at Olympiacos, what 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 are you sort of wary on, and what maybe did you learn from from maybe that game and how you went out? I know the the situation is slightly different tomorrow. You got a bigger lead, more away goals, but just wonder when you look back on on how you went out last year what you sort of take away from that and things you need to avoid? Well, we went out because uh, the tie was open and then we had to manage the game in the last few few minutes. We considered two set pieces on that day and, and we missed some big chances. And when you do that, uh, at the end, these ties are defined in both boxes and, um, and we didn't define the, the tie when we had the opportunity. So um, we know that to go through tomorrow, we're going to have to do that better. Thanks, Mikhail. You spoke after the game on Sunday about how badly the team managed the last 10 minutes. Obviously, it's a similar situation in terms of having the lead tomorrow. What do they need to do differently to manage the game and to control it? Everything different than what we did on Sunday against the 10 men. Stop giving simple balls away, stop putting ourselves in trouble um, and give a clear direction of where we want to have the ball in those minutes and, um, and play simple. And, uh, and be sure that we can win and manage the situation much better than we did. Is that a uh, mentality or composure thing? Because they've, they've obviously got the technical skill to do it. So where, where did it go in those last 10 minutes? Sometimes happens, sometimes you see that uh, sometimes one or two actions leads to give some momentum to the opponent. Uh, you get a little bit more tense and uh, you can start to have the fear of losing something. And, uh, and it's much better energy to have the, the energy to win what you already have um, and not think about just maintaining and not losing because then you start to play much more restricted and lose the flow of the game and your confidence and it's uh, something that we can do. Thank you. You mentioned earlier the, the international game that's coming up and obviously we know it's quite difficult to balance the fixture schedule both domestically and internationally in the pandemic but given that the World Cup is in just over a year and a half Three, three games in, in six days, it's, it's a bit much, isn't it? Well, I think it's a bit too much in general, uh, in a normal year. So in this year, I think it becomes uh, something really dangerous with the amount of minutes that uh, these boys have played in such a short time with no preparation. Um, I don't think it's, it's right, but we're not going to change it. The decisions we made, the games are going to be played. So it's just about how we protect our players uh, the best possible way. Do you trust all, all the federations to look after your players properly in, 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 in this situation? I always want to trust them, we will communicate with them, we will send them the state of our players and, and try to maintain an open discussions uh, to try to manage uh, the law the best possible way and, and don't change too much the things that they are used to doing. Thank you. A quick one if I could on going back to Pierre. Um, did he, how did he react to, to your conversation and everything in the past few days and are you pleased with with where things are now moving forward? Really positively. That's why I said um, that uh, this is over, that we move forward uh, in a positive way and, and there is no more comments to make on that. But he, he's perfectly happy that he's behind him. He's happy that, that Sunday is where it is, basically. He trained really well the last two days. He was smiling, as usual, um, as we always expect from Nova. And uh, it's all good. Good. Thanks, Miguel. Um, talking about the internationals next week, are any of your players not going to be travelling because of coronavirus restrictions? Well, the ones that uh, are going to be in red zone countries, obviously they won't be able to play those games uh, or those features. The rest, we have to allow them to go um, if they are fit and, uh, and we will stick to the protocols and all the guidance that's, uh, that we have to try to allow our players to go when they are safe. I was just wondering how many of those players are there in red zone areas. I've got no idea anymore. We have a few marked uh, that some of them they might be able to play one game and not the next game. 
So it's a lot of still to figure that out. Uh, the dog is in constant communication with the Premier League and, and the federations, but uh, it's not too simple. Brilliant. Thank you.